Hi everyone, it's Gwen from Rustic Diva Design and I have um, for you the walkthrough video for the Baby Boy mini album that I just did a tutorial on. Um, the tutorial's in two parts and I will link the tutorial in um, the description um, in this video so that you can find it. It's an easy um, six by six mini album with the L hinge page um, you know, the little half inch um, extra on the side of your page that you just glue to the spine. It's only four pages, um, easy to construct, and all the pages are made exactly the same. So there's not a lot of cutting um, when making the pages. So check that out if you want to learn how to make this album that I'm showing you here. Um, the paper collection I used is... Echo Parks, Welcome Baby Boy, and again, this album size is perfect for using up your 6x6 paper pads. Um, I did use the 6x6 paper pad, and I also used the 12x12, and um, you know, the cut apart sheets, and the ephemera pack, and the chipboard, and the stickers, and all that stuff. So I still have this I actually had two of these um I had two of the six by six paper pads and two of the twelve by twelve and look at all the papers I still have left so I still have some another album I could make I'm gonna um move on to another paper collection now though <laughs> because I've done a couple with this um so I have another idea in mind. But anyway, this is the perfect album for um 6x6 six six paper pads if you're looking for a tutorial for that. So let's just go through this quick. Um I this album cover is pretty simple. I just used again, this was using scraps. So using whatever you have available. Like I said before in the tutorial, all of the paper collections um, the papers go so well together that, you know, you can just kind of put things together and it works. So that's what I did on the cover. I used, um, two different papers, put this little strip in between, um, again, just using up what I had. This is a cut apart, four by four cut apart. I did, um, chomp the corners here. Um, I double matted it on the blue paper added a sticker here and some enamel dots and then I'm not sure if you can see I did use my glitter pen um, on the word baby here to give it just a little sparkle it's hard to see it on here I'm sure but I did that here and then this is just a um, piece of ephemera that I oh this is popped up and then this is popped up and then a couple little ephemera pieces here this is the spine, this is a two inch spine, and then this is the back cover. So nothing elaborate on the covers this time. And then inside, um, this is what we put together. So it has the flap here um, with a magnet that opens for a photo mat. And then this is a pocket here. And then this page is a pocket page on the right hand side. And then the belly band here and I have the tags all completed um, for the belly band. And then this is just an area for photos and that just slips in here. And then for this belly band, we went um, the opposite way. I made a little photo mat. Um, with a magnet so it just slips in this belly band here so I just matted it double matted it used a piece of ephemera and popped it up on foam and then again I used my glitter pen on the stars and then the little moon on the onesie so that just slips in here like so and then stays in place nicely with the magnet closure um, this is just another pocket page here and a pocket page here. And then remember, if you watch the tutorial, we uh, made the flaps with no magnet. So these just flip up for photo mats or journaling. And then I made the photo mats out of the three by four cut aparts um, to slip in the pocket and hold down the flap. 
So um, I should tell you too, when I purchase a paper collection, because they're double-sided, you know, and the cut-apart sheet always seems to come as, um, you know, the cut-aparts, and then the opposite side of that cut-apart sheet is the beautiful paper that you want to use in your uh, project. So I always buy extra cut-apart sheets when I purchase a collection for that reason, because I know I'm going to want to use the paper that's on the back because it's so cute. So I always buy extra. Um, and that's why I have all these leftovers, but that's okay because you can use them in your project. So, and then just another um, cut apart as a photo mat on this side with this flip up page. And then the last page is just the pocket page. And then we made this um, photo mat with a magnet that flips open as, uh, and has two photo mats in the inside and closes and then we just glued this on three sides to make a pocket and then I just made this um, tag again for um, the inside of this pocket. You can find this die, this tag die, so it's, um, it comes with this and then it, the die, this size and then the smaller one, what do you call that, like nesting? I think, huh, help me out. Anyway, you can find this tag die at countrycraftcreations.com, um, and I use this a lot. I love this tag. Um, so with your die cutting machine, um, you can make these, whip those tags out easy. So that just slips in there, and there you have it. Four page album, simple to put together. I'll link the tutorial in the description of this video. Um, so that you can make one too. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so for more crafty projects and ideas. And thank you for watching.